suing Justin Trudeau's disinformation czar. I filed the lawsuit in court in Calgary. You can see it for yourself at SaveRebelNews.com. Please go there because this is a real David versus Goliath fight, and I need your help. I'll go through the lawsuit with you in a moment, but first a bit of background. Last month, I told you about Trudeau's newest tactic to censor Rebel News. Trudeau's disinformation czar, a University of Calgary professor named Jean-Christophe Boucher, he threatened to sue us. Using the University of Calgary's lawyer, he sent me a legal notice of intention to bring a lawsuit against us. You can see that threat letter for yourself at SaveRebelNews.com. Boucher threatened to sue us because we dared to challenge his smear of Rebel News. See, he had the University of Calgary publish a study paid for by Trudeau's liberal government that claims to look for Russian propagandists active on Twitter in Canada. And Boucher's report says you may be a Russian agent if you're, and I quote, promoting a specific mistrust of Canada's liberal government and especially of Prime Minister Trudeau. <laughs> Seriously. But distrusting Trudeau doesn't make you a Russian agent. That's a McCarthyist conspiracy theory. I thought this guy was supposed to be against conspiracy theories. Distrusting Trudeau only makes you a Canadian who's expressing your constitutionally protected political opinion. We're allowed to distrust any politician of any party. Most Canadians don't trust Trudeau. Only 32% voted for him in the last election. You simply can't call anyone who doesn't like Trudeau a Russian agent. But this Boucher, who receives massive grants from Trudeau to do this kind of thing, he went on CTV News and actually said that Rebel News was one of the worst misinformation outlets in Canada. What? Not only is that not true, that's not even what his own report said. Here's his blacklist in his report. I think it's BS. I mean, Maxime Bernier, a Russian spy. Come on. Rupa Subramania, the lovely young National Post journalist, a Russian agent. It's pretty clear this is just Trudeau's political enemies list. It's got nothing to do with Russia. But you'll notice something. Rebel News is not actually on his list, are we? And yet Boucher went on CTV to say Rebel News is the worst misinformation propagandist in Canada. We're not. Even his own study says we're not. He's a liar, a liar whose job description is to accuse Trudeau's enemies of lying, of disinformation. Now, um, that's why he threatened to sue us last month, because I did a video rebuttal to his smear. That's when he doubled down, using the university's lawyer to threaten to sue me for saying what I've just said. So he smeared me as a Putin agent, and then when I dared to defend myself, he threatened me again. Just a reminder, in case you didn't know, in, in case you couldn't guess, this guy hates Rebel News, and he has for years. I mean, take a look at this tweet. Here he is saying, Rebel News should be sued so brutally that we have to shut down. Quote, when will we shut down the rebel for spreading false misinformation? This should be a lawsuit for undermining public safety. That's what he said. And here he is comparing Rebel News to poison. So he daydreams about suing Rebel News into oblivion, and then he sends us a threat letter warning us that he's going to do it. Well, guess what? I just sued him. I just sued him for defamation. He said we're Russian agents. We are not. He said we're one of the worst misinformation propagandists in Canada. We are not. We're not Russian propagandists at all. Even his own report says so. So we sued. Read it yourself. It's only 11 pages long. You can find it at that website, saverebelnews.com. You can see we're suing Boucher. That's the disinformation czar. I call him that because he's funded by Trudeau to do that. We're suing the University of Calgary for publishing his smear. And we're suing CTV, where he went on TV and said we were amongst the worst misinformation propagandists in Canada. I really don't know why he said that. Even his own study refutes that. Maybe it's because he's hated Rebel News for a very long time and has publicly daydreamed about crushing us, which isn't very scholarly or academic at all, is it? There's this weird thing he says, implying that we make money off this propaganda. What is he talking about? That's not even in his study. He just spat that wild accusation out. How on earth are, are we making money 
off our non-existent Russian propaganda. It, it almost feels like he knew he knew the facts were too boring, and he promised CTV a very salacious interview, and his study wasn't really very exciting, and the facts weren't very intriguing, so he just blurted out some things he made up on the spot. I mean, he's hated Rebel News for years, so, so he named us as the bad guys. It's so weird. And like I say, we wrote to Boucher and the university and to CTV privately and quietly. We just asked them to fix it. Low down, no lawsuit, just fix it, please. We just can't have a government professor at a government university saying we're Russian agents. That's insane. We can't accept that. And instead of retracting or making any corrections, what they did was they sent us a threat letter signed by the university's own lawyer, telling us they were going to sue us. Well, let's see you in court, Jean-Christophe Boucher. Let's, let's have you answer for your smears and your threat to silence us when we simply asked you to correct your smears. What you just saw was an excerpt from my nightly show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every weekday, I do a monologue. Usually it's about half an hour. Then I interview an interesting guest, and then we read my hate mail or my fan mail, whichever is more fun. It's only available behind a paywall, though. That's how we pay our bills here at Rebel News. We don't take a dime from Justin Trudeau. But the good news is it's only 8 bucks a month, about half the price of Netflix. And in addition to my weekly, sorry, my nightly show, you also get weekly shows from four other friends here at Rebel News. So you're getting 36 shows a month just for eight bucks i think it's worth it and even if you're not quite sure do it anyways because we rely on viewers like you to keep us free and independent i promise you i'll never take a dime from trudeau just go to rebelnewsplus.com and click subscribe thanks